it's like that. Hey, thanks for the follow. Sensei versus Quid right here. We got the ZSS versus the PT. Um, so I've actually seen Sensei ZSS versus PT um, before. Uh, what Sensei typically likes to do is a lot of side Bs because a lot of the time Squirtle can kind of just low profile. Mm -hmm. So you'll be expecting a lot of side Bs for damage. And then whenever uh, he goes towards Ivasaur, that's when you get to see Sensei kind of jump more towards the air and do the typical like, short hop in air, short hop in air to keep out. So it's really interesting to see how Sensei adapts to each and every individual. Yeah, and now we're seeing you know Sensei uh, taking the first stock. Uh, you know, Quid switching to Ivysaur gonna be trying to take the, try and even it up real quick. But it can be difficult. You know, Ivysaur is a slow character. Zero Suit's very mobile. Uh, doesn't deal too well with like uh, pressure. So if <gasps> if Sensei is able to just like keep around, can kind of stay out of it. But you know those scary situations that Ivysaur can put you in. You know you you lower your guard for one moment and like you can die. But now going to Charizard, a little bit of a safer pick. Oh, I'll try to parry the slow one, but. Just get zapped. Uh oh. Mm. Ugh. Very nice. Punishing the flip kick with the back air. Once she does the flip kick, there's really not too much she can do. Mm. Okay. All right. Ooh, nice back air at a disadvantage. Ooh, nice cross up there. Uh, Sensei admittedly did react a little bit late with that up B, but nonetheless, good positioning by Quid. Ooh, trying to read the jump. I don't think that went to kill, but it would have been uh, some pretty good fear. Yeah. All right, let's see. Is Sensei gonna do the edge guard? Not <gasps> quite. So oh. set. Nice. Not gonna be oh. enough though. Oh! Okay. Trading the, uh, I think it was back air and Zard up air? I think so. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're on a last stock here. Quit getting some conversions of their own. And now Sensei. Ooh, Quid doing a really good job with this edge guard of Squirtle. This is one of Squirtle's strongest uh, positions. Just like Squirtle edge guard, the character is so quick and just has great tools that are just like made for edge guarding. Back air and forward air, and also water gun, just really can strain your opponent's recovery. Even a recovery like Zero Suit, like we have, we actually switch sides, but we've been in a constant edge guard this entire stock. And just like that, Quid takes game one, uh, just hanging on to just all stage control that entire that entire last stock. That was crazy. It was like one moment where Sensei had a chance to turn it around, and then uh, just turned into another edge guard. Bad situation. A little bit of a flub, but still, just all the pressure that uh, Quid was able to exude uh, on that last stock. Oh my. Uh, I think here here comes the big trade. No. No, I think. No, this is the back air. Loses the stock here. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Bear. All right, here, here, here it is. Yeah. So right here. So. Okay. So Sensei likes to do this a lot. What he likes to do is he likes to jump back to ledge, and instead of attaching to ledge, he likes to do reverse up B. So as soon as I sort, uh, I think it's called mine. Yeah, Vine Whip. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as Ivysaur reaches the ledge with the Vine Whip, he gets hit by the constant hit points of the up B and he dies towards the side. It's, in my opinion, one of the most cool ways to edge guard. Um, but it seemed like Sensei didn't want to commit to that, and that resulted in the trade, BB's at the moment.
Yeah, that was a great exchange. That was really fun to watch. <laughs> I love it. I think it's a cool matchup. Because they go so far off stage. They don't... They don't, like, stay on stage and act like wusses. They go out there and they... <laughs> start hard out the wusk, you yeah? No wussies. Alright, but we're no seeing wussies. the snake. They go out there. Alright, that said, we're gonna see a probably... Probably the opposite game plan here. A lot of just standing around, trying to keep corner pressure. <laughs> Good getting so much percentage. Oh my god, no way. Yeah, and that's gonna be uh, Sensei's first stock. Uh, Pokemon Trainer can really take advantage uh, of Snake's disadvantage. Especially, so something we just saw there was uh, Sensei was able to land the sticky on, on uh, I think, Squirtle, but when Pokemon Trainer swaps, the, the C4 actually falls off him, which is a really good uh, tool to have access to. Yep, we're going to see probably another potential swap. Nope, going to stick with it. Uh, especially when you saw that he was kind of telegraphing, I was going to explode it right away, so you can just hold block. Yeah, I just feel like this, I feel like Snake is one of those characters that has that annoying get of get off the tool, you know, the grenade. Yeah. But at the same time, when he doesn't have that in hand, he can kind of just come He's like, oh, he's heavy, you know. And so Quinn is getting a lot of damage because Sensei is kind of just throwing away these grenades when he can really benefit from just keeping one in hand. Yeah, great, great stall by Quid to avoid the, the missile right there. Alright, well, gonna gonna die to C4 on the platform. Ooh, just gonna read the roll and do Flare Blitz right off the bat. Oh my god. It just went straight for it, getting that kill. Going Squirtle is always such a like a really scary thing versus Snake because like if, if Squirtle's able to get what he wants, uh, Snake doesn't get to play. But if if uh, if Snake can read your movement, then Squirtle can eat a lot of damage, which is really scary for a tiny almond-sized boy such as himself. Yeah. But yeah, right now Quid just really, ooh, really great Which control. Ah, get him! That's it. Oh, that's it. That it's it? over. Okay, oh. we we didn't have to do that, but that was sick, and oh. we appreciate it nonetheless. Very good. Very nice, Quid. Quid gonna be moving on. 2-0. Quid is so sick. That was so sick. Yeah. The conversions yeah. off the grenades, the the off stage play, the positioning, the ability to cover air dodge, and then proceed to not. Oh, with the disrespect! <laughs> he actually whipped him. Yes. Oh. Don't be doing cipher uh cipher low versus trainer. Don't do cipher low. Anytime. I'm, snakes, you gotta recover high. Yeah, I know it's hard to land, but you're gonna get gimped if you recover well. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, just kind of really quick plays. Uh, that was so funny. I want to see that again, honestly. Uh, <laughs> it was just like... At what point did he read this? So, like, he does Nair. And that's when he dropped. Okay. Huh. I might I might try that myself in the future. If I know that they whiffed, if I can get them to whiff, then they panic roll or something. But yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So yeah. Good stuff by Quid. Uh I love seeing some some solid Pokemon trainer play. And uh yeah, we'll see uh what Sensei can do in the losers bracket. Good luck to him.